In this video, we're going to find the gradient of this function at the point 0, 3, and we're going to find the maximum value of the directional derivative. So let's start by finding the gradient. So the gradient is the vector of the first order partial derivatives. So we'll start by computing gx. So this is the partial derivative with respect to x. That means we treat all of the y's as constants. So the y hangs out, and when you take the derivative of e to the x, you just get e to the x. So here it's e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside function. That's the chain rule. So this will be times negative 1 because the derivative of negative x is negative 1. Again, when we take the partial with respect to x, we treat all the other variables as constants. In particular, y is a constant. The derivative of e to the negative x is e to the negative x times the derivative of the inside. So this is going to be the first component of our gradient vector. So now we're going to compute gy. So this time, uh, e to the negative x is a constant. So the derivative of y is 1, and this piece just hangs out. So we end up with this here. Okay, so the gradient of g at x, y, it's going to be the vector of partial derivatives. So first you put this one here, so negative y e to the negative x, and then this one goes here. So this is e to the negative x. Good stuff. We want the gradient at 0, 3, so the gradient vector of g at 0, 3. The notation is really important. It's really important that you, you, know, you put the 0 and the 3 here when you plug in the numbers. So x is 0, y is 3, so it'll be negative 3 e to the 0, and then e to the 0. e to the 0 is 1, so this is going to be negative 3, comma 1. So this is the gradient vector. Remember, this is a three-dimensional graph. The gradient is a two-dimensional vector. It points in the direction of maximum increase. So now we have to find the maximum value of the directional derivative. Well, the maximum value of the directional derivative is given by the magnitude of the gradient. So all we have to do for the next part is compute this. So this is going to be the max value of the directional derivative. I'll just put dir dir, directional derivative. So to compute the magnitude, you just take the square root, square root of the square of the components. So it'd be negative 3 squared plus 1 squared. So it'd be 9 plus 1. So you end up with 10, right? This is 9, this is 1, 9 plus 1 is 10. This is the maximum value of the directional derivative. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.